Today I have something for those of you that would rather do anything but go to work on a Monday morning and encounter other commuters that would literally prefer to be anywhere else than on the train. Or perhaps it's just a really grey and boring autumn for you, every day seems foggy and damp and even your dog can't wait to get back inside again. Good news my friend, I have a watch that will liven up even the dullest of days and put smiles on you and your surroundings in a way that only the sun or maybe only a creamy and excellent hot chocolate could. It's not too crazy as to be unwearable by a normal person and it's also not so colourful that people may suspect you obtained it from a vending machine. What it is, is genuinely fun, unusual and comfortable all at the same time. It also happens to be well made, have a great movement, stunning loom and for peace of mind it's not the first outing by this company and it will be available at an early bird of $399 when launched. The green I have here is actually the least colourful one of the lot, where a purple and also an orange style are the more out there options. But even with this, it's pretty obvious that this is no shrinking violet of a watch. Aerotech watches have been around for about 7 years. The name is derived from the words aerodynamic, aero and technology tech. A tad unusual, but with the obvious sci-fi influences here, I get it. Behind the brand is a watch collector by the name of Terence C, based in Malaysia, and past hits includes the Ace X GMT Diver and the lovely Sea Hunt watch, which can be had for a discount at the moment. The Black Label Aero Diver is to my eyes at least the most courageous design to date from the brand, and I've not seen something like this before, where there's basically a deep black hole that looks like you could be sucked in if not careful. If you're interested in seeing more, then you come to the right place, so let's check it out. If this is your first time on my channel, I like to take my watches outside and also get real up and close macro shots. If that's something that you like the sound of, do please subscribe and like this video. I'm about 100 videos in now too, so feel free to go through the back catalogue. So let's cover dimensions here first. We're looking at 39mm wide and 47mm lug to lug. Lug width is 20mm and it's a slim 12.2mm thick. Sized up for me is 140g. But let's have a look at this style. It is quite mesmerizing to have this sort of deep black hole and to be honest it's the only way that all the other rather out there elements work. Take for instance the 3, 6 and 9 markers and then a black peep at 12 that almost looks like a surveillance camera. And then this fighter plane hour hand which is actually the logo of Aerotech. If you had your eyes closed during that description, you might wonder what is going on here exactly and how it could possibly all work together. But it does, and mainly since that deep black hole provides a calm center. Now look, this design is obviously not for everyone, that is for sure. But if you're this deep into this video, you might be at least a little interested in this. And remember, this is a challenging design, that's like nothing else really. So that's what you're buying here. Surrounding the black hole is the green gradient that meets the minute track perfectly. You can also order yours in what I must call a deep purple and also reddish orange. Both are at least as spectacular as this one so choosing yours would be hard. Personally, I'd have liked a blue one also, maybe even a moon grey that would have toned it all down a little, but should this be successful, perhaps they might come. Anyway, covering this is a box double dome crystal with a decent amount of AR coating, and we also get a fully loomed bezel that feels good in the hand and even lines up on this prototype. There's an ever so slight overhang with a bit of grip, but you would struggle to move this with wet hands I'd say, so you divers might want to set it on the boat before you jump in. What you won't struggle to grip is this large crown which is easy to grip and has something as exotic as an indicator that's colour matched to the colour of your dial. I've only seen this on the Tudor Black Bay before and it's pretty cool, 
one of the small touches you only see as an owner really. Flipping the watch over, we get a nice motif of a diver about to jump in, and some specs. Chief amongst them pointing out that this is a 300 meter dive watch, so you'll have nothing to worry about with this watch and water. Behind the case back, we'll find the ever reliable and thin Miyota 9039. You'll hear this rotor as per normal, but not excessively so in my time with it. This pretty case lends itself well to strap options, but there's certainly nothing wrong with the polished H-Link bracelet, which is also quick release, nor the included tropical strap. It is pin and collar, which means short-term pain and long-term gain, with it being secure without needing to worry about screws coming out, but just a bit painful to set initially. We also again, and I say again since microbrands are really nailing it here, get a quick adjustment for the buckle that gives you about another 10mm or so, which is genuinely handy. It's not the easiest to film in action, but hopefully you get the idea here. The buckle itself has the rather loud logo, which is not my cup of tea, but again, this is a loud and proud watch design. If you do remove the bracelet, I think black is a great look, and this Artem strap looks pretty good, and it's also safe for diving. This also reveals a bit of an easter egg, where at the 6 we find a black label nod to the model name. There is a ton of loom on this watch, on the dial, bezel, crown and even buckle, and I'll leave it to you to enjoy in peace. <music> This is a very specific style of watch, and you already know if it's for you. If your heart says yes, then rest assured that quality matches the looks, and it clearly wears well also. Are there any concerns here? It is another Kickstarter launch, but the brand is a few models in, so we should be good to go here. The only question mark, perhaps, is if others are as excited about a design that is so unusual and so bold. I think the answer to that is yes, we don't need yet another plain clone of a black and white dive watch, particularly when so many have been done already and done so well. It's smarter really to forge your own way and kickstart something genuinely unique and fun. All the very best to you Terence, and I hope some of you watched this video with the aim to back the campaign and get your own. Will you do so? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.